Tonight, an arrest in the case of viral video showing a man spewing hate at a halal cart worker in Manhattan. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor shows us it happened on the Upper East Side. 64-year-old Stuart Seldowitz was arrested Wednesday, charged with a hate crime, stalking, and harassment. Police say the former national security official is the one seen in several cell phone videos going on hateful rants at the Adam Halal food cart on 83rd and 2nd Avenue. We're going to put big signs here that say this guy is, believes in Hamas. You're a terrorist. You support terrorists. Listen. If we kill 4,000 Palestinian kids, you know what? It wasn't enough. 24-year-old Muhammad Hussein, whose boss translates for him, says Seldowitz was not a customer, but came over to ask him where he was from. And when he replied, Egypt, the guy started telling him, you, you, you supporting Hamas. So Hussein started filming. The video does not show the initial encounter. CBS New York tried repeatedly to get in contact with Seldowitz, who alleged to other news outlets that Hussein said he supported what Hamas did. And that's what got him so upset, a claim Hussein denies. We would rather if he came and apologized and instead of him trying to flip the story. We have no problem with nobody. Don't try to create problem. People c could die for something like, like this. Yasser Noir is part owner of the car and says he doesn't understand why Seldowitz would keep showing up to try and provoke a reaction amongst heightened tensions over the conflict in the Middle East. Well, I don't know what you're trying to do. What you're trying to say? Situation is very irritated anyway. We don't need more spice in the situation. But what happened here has seemingly only brought people together. We have mostly Jewish customers in this building. This lady and this lady make a cake for us last night. Neighbors set up a table next to the cart, encouraging people to sit down and eat together. They're really wonderful people, and they care about the community that they're in, and, and they certainly don't deserve this. On the Upper East Side, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.